Hello, in this video, I want to show you an algebra workbook, okay? And it's not a textbook, and I want to emphasize that. Someone had left a comment in one of my videos a while ago, and they said, what's the difference between a textbook and a workbook? Well, a workbook like this one is one that you can open, and you can actually write in it, and it's basically a problem book. So you've got, like, a little bit of knowledge. So here, for example, it talks about simple quadratic equations. So you read... You read, do some math, read some examples, okay? Keep reading, read some more, read some more examples, and then you have tons of problems, right? Tons of problems that you can do for practice. This book also has answers in the back of the book, so you can check your answers to all of the problems uh, in the back of the book. So this book um, is not perfect. It doesn't have everything, but I think it's good for someone who wants to get better at math, okay? So if, if you're trying to get better at like basic algebra, this is a great book. I'll try to leave a link in the description in case you wanna check it out. It's super inexpensive and that's one of the reasons I bought it um, because it was a math book and it was cheap. And as a collector of math books, I like to have you know as many as I can. So let's take a look at the contents so you can see exactly what it contains. Chris McMullen, PhD, he has a lot of books on Amazon. Um, and they're all pretty good. They're all, they're all pretty good. All right, so here we have um, the contents. He talks about making the most of this workbook and I recommend reading it. I like what he has to say there. He gives um, you know, good advice that you can follow uh, if you want to get better uh, at algebra. So linear equations with integral coefficients, that basically means that the, um, the coefficients are uh, whole numbers. You're not gonna get fractions. And then here we have linear equations the fractional coefficients, simple quadratic equations, and then factoring quadratic equations, formula for the quadratic equation, cross multiplying systems of linear equations. So this goes extremely slow in the sense that, you know, you have entire chapters dedicated to uh, very simple things, whereas in a textbook, you know, a lot of these things would be just in like one chapter. For example, all the quadratic stuff might be in just uh, a simple chapter in a college algebra book, where here he separates it into three chapters. And then same thing here, systems of linear equations, that's typically one chapter. Cross multiplying, um, that usually comes up in really basic math books, like intermediate algebra books, they teach you how to cross multiply. And then linear equations, that comes up, and again, in most algebra books, they cover that. So really, really basic stuff. Here he talks about how to use the book. And I'm gonna skip all that. And here's, here's the beginning right here. Chapter one, linear equations with integral coefficients. So if you don't know any mathematics, right? Like if you don't know any algebra, you can actually use this to start because he explains it in such a, a good way. Also his examples from what I've found, and this is not just true for this book, but this is true for um, his other books as well, uh, is that the examples uh, in the books uh, that Chris writes, they, they remind me of videos. Like he shows extra examples, like extra steps in the examples and it reminds me of a video. Like it doesn't, let me see if I can find one here. Here you go. See most textbooks, well a lot of modern books have gotten really good about showing the steps, but you see here how he goes through everything and tries to explain everything. Like even this part here where he's dividing by negative three now, um, you know, one, one criticism is he could have used a better typesetting like LaTeX, which is mathematical typesetting. A textbook would have used better typesetting. However, um, how was this published? I'm not sure, but I don't know if he used Amazon Publishing, but it's hard to get LaTeX in, in books. It takes a little bit more effort. If you've ever tried to write your own book, I have, it's pretty tough. So this is the easiest way and this is how he did it and it worked and it's a great book. And that's understandable to me, right? He's dividing both sides by negative three. So good work, Chris. And super clear, super clear. Then you have tons of examples. I mean, it's just ridiculous. 18, 18, I mean, just so many examples. I mean, look at this. It's ridiculous. It's, it's more than you need, right? You don't even need this many, but um, this book contains them, right? Chris throws them in there. I mean, look, he just keeps going. What the heck, right? Wow, wow, look at this. I mean, it's just problem after problem. So you could do five problems a day, and I mean, this is going to last you forever. And the space here in the book is given to you so you can write in the book. That's why it's called a workbook. Pretty impressive, right? And then here you get the same thing. It's just now we introduce fractions. So if you feel like you're really not very good at math and you need a lot of extra practice, this is a good book for you. If you already know algebra, this is not gonna be a book that you want, I think. Um, 
I bought it because I'm a collector. So if you're a collector of math books and you're obsessive about having like every math book in the world, uh, then yeah, definitely get it. But definitely a book for beginners. Okay, I want to emphasize that. And again, look at all of these examples here. Now, this book has answers, which is good. A lot of uh, Chris's other books, let me show you the answers again, have full solutions, right? Full solutions. Um, I don't think that would have been appropriate for this book. I mean, it would have made the book a lot longer considering how many examples he has. It would have taken like a considerable amount of effort to write out full solutions, which he does is in his other books, but his other books that have those full solutions, they have less exercises. So it's not uh, you know, as big of a chore for the author to include all, all the full solutions. So, I mean, I'm just thrilled that he included all the answers. So yeah, I think it's a good book that you can buy and use to learn. Um, it's not a textbook, so it's not going to have like, you know, as much content as, you know, an, an intermediate algebra book. And if you buy like a used intermediate algebra book or a used college algebra book, you're going to get a book that has a lot more content um, and just a lot more value. Whereas this one, I feel like it's just, it's very inexpensive and it's great for just getting right to it and learning math as quick as possible and just getting better at the basics, right? Getting better at the basics. I like the back of the cover too. I'm gonna give it a whiff here. It's a soft cover. I've had this one for a while and I feel like it's held up pretty well. I've read small portions of it. I've done some of the exercises, but not too many because um, I've been doing math a while and so this is you know, pretty easy stuff. So yeah, I like it and I recommend it. And I'll, I'll try to leave a link uh, in the description of this video in case you wanna check it out. Oh, also, before I forget, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. The key takeaway you should take away from this video is that this is an excellent book uh, for beginners who want to get started with algebra. And if you wanna learn math, by the way, I actually have courses, including uh, an algebra course. They're on the Udemy platform, but if you get them, check out my website, mathsorcerer.com. And if you use the links from my website, you will get a low price because I have lowered the prices to the bare minimum. So I have a college algebra course that actually has like, you know, uh, videos and assignments and answers. It actually has answers to the assignments and it's all organized. It covers way more than this book. Way, way more, way, 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 like way more. It's, it's, it's a college algebra course. It covers everything you would cover in a college level course plus more, right? Plus more because I was able to include more in the course because, you know, I'm not in front of a class and there's time constraints so you can include more knowledge. Kind of like how textbooks typically have more than you can cover. Uh, same thing with, with that course. But yeah, uh, check it out, mathsorcerer.com, and uh, buy this book. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. Super cheap, and you can learn tons of mathematics. If you do get it, I'd recommend just doing a little bit every day. Um, you could try to make like a study plan, like an hour a day or 30 minutes a day, but my advice would be to just get started, right? Get the pencil moving. Try to do at least one problem a day, and it's going to make you better. You're going to get better at math. You get better at math by doing math. And this book will help you do math. Good luck.